You've hardly touched your potatoes. When you last left, they were your favorite. I was thinking we could go for a walk in a little bit. Angela just had a baby and we've been going on evening hikes around the neighborhood. And I know she'd love to meet you. Not interested. I can finally put a face to the name. I don't want to meet anyone. Oh, okay, well, we can just do a quiet night here. I would love I'm to. I'm going out with the guys after this. Cameron, you just got back. Janie, I'm leaving after this meal. I promised them that I would be out there with them. What about what you promised me? Jesus Christ. I'm serious, Cam. What did I promise you? How about I'll never change, for starters? How about I'll call you once a month so you don't forget the sound of my voice? You don't know what it's like out there. I had to drag my sergeant out of our ATV after an IED detonated. But by the time I found cover, I realized there was only half of him. There were children taking shoes off of the bodies of dead soldiers in the middle of the streets, selling them for food and money. Okay. Okay. Cam. That place? What you did? You don't have to keep it with you. Some things harden you. The things that we saw. The things they did. That doesn't matter to me. You'll never know how much I love you. I felt it. I remembered it every day. I wish I could believe that. Then you're going to have to trust me. What we had, what we planned to have was a family. It was worth waiting for. And it was worth fighting for. They fight for me! God damn it, fight for me! I love you! I waited for you! I was alone! Countless nights without sleep! I hated every day you were gone. But I wanted to be strong for you! But you are strong, Janie. I am so glad that you are finally able to speak your true feelings out loud. Maybe you can use your strength and your love and see that everything changes, no matter how much we don't want it to. It's going to be all right, Janie. No, Cam. I don't think it will. <laughs>